Hi, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.net. Welcome to the 136 uh, HowToNetwork.net tip of the day. It's Friday the 5th of February 2010. First thing is congratulations to Andy, um, I can't even pronounce your surname, Hulja, who um, passed the CCNA yesterday and posted on the I've Passed forum. Andy got 972, so he did uh, really well in his exam. And uh, he's going to be posting a few tips on the forum, so look out for that if you've got access. The other thing is the free switching module still on the uh, site. If you come to uh, the home page and go to departments at the bottom and click on free stuff, you can read all that and print off all of the pages as well. Uh, so that's there for you to keep. I've uploaded a free iOS CCNA level exam. You're going to need to know your iOS commands back to front because um, you can't take anything in with you in the exam. The question mark should work on the router uh, simulator but you just can't rely on knowing the command unless you're in the the correct mode. So um, I'm going to flash up a link where you can download a free iOS exam. There's only 10 questions but it should get you thinking and I've put links on all of the questions to get you back to a free section on the site which explains the commands in more detail. The other thing as I mentioned yesterday but it looks like not everyone reads the tip of the day for some reason. Um, if you're a member of the site and you get stuck on a lab or there's something you need help with please post on the forum in the first instance if at all possible. Um, I can answer questions by email but it's just not very efficient when other people can see the answer and, and help answer your questions. If you're a Platinum member then you have a coaching um, email that you can use if it's a specific coaching question. Uh, what's the other thing? Um, I've reposted quite a few of the articles on the email tip of the day. The last thing is somebody's asked me what's the best way to cope with exam nerves. Well uh, exam nerves are very common um, and it's actually a natural thing if we're taking any sort of test including driving tests, exams or or whatever. So the best thing to do is I find is take lots and lots of practice exams so you're familiar with how they work and um, you're getting caught out when you're paying for practice exams rather than the real thing because we don't want to lose the money. The other thing is find out where the testing centre is. You, when you go for the exam you don't want it to be the first time you've ever gone there. I'll dig out an article and see if I can flash up a link for um, things to do to get through the exam successfully. And also there's a um, hypnosis track we have for members. Uh, if you go to the home page click on uh, software there's a exam success uh, hypnosis I actually paid a hypnotherapist to record some uh, visualization inductions you can play it in the morning or in the evening before you go to bed and basically it will help you focus on be becoming successful it'll help you with your recall in the exam and also with your nerves that's on there I think it's um, yes yeah, $37 so it's probably well worth it if you do find yourself a little bit anxious coming up to the exam. So uh, have a great weekend, I'm sure you'll all be studying hard, I know I'll be doing some work over the weekend and I'll see you on Monday.